Following a recount in the race for District 4 Supervisor, the San Luis Obispo County Elections Office has been working around the clock and is now gearing up for the general election in November. The 2022 general election in November will feature important votes statewide, including governor and secretary of state. Locally, ballots will be filled with U.S. representative and state senator races, as well as several measures that are district specific. General election voter turnout is typically higher than the primary, but Slow County Clerk Recorder Elaine Anna Kano says voters could get discouraged to vote in the general election if they don't vote in the primary because they think their options are limited with just two selections to choose from. For the primary, it's usually a little bit, you know, disheartening to me to think, oh man, you're missing the opportunity. You've got all these wonderful choices. And then all of a sudden, when voters get their ballot in the mail, for the general election, they think, well, I don't like either one of these two. Where's everybody at? How come nobody's running? Well, they all ran in the Mr. primary. Kano says her office will likely be working over Labor Day weekend to put the finishing touches on the voter information guide that is sent to every voter in the county. We are working on it now. We already have our uh, temporary election workers here today doing all the proofing of the candidate statements because those candidate statements go inside our voter information guide and our printer needs those next week. And they also need our ballot images next week. Kano says voters can expect ballots to be mailed out the week of October 10th. The office also needs between 600 and 800 poll workers on election day.